Today we're going to learn how to find the inverse of a function symbolically. There are five steps in this, and in this screencast we'll be doing the first four. Our first step is check to see if the function is one-to-one. -one. Then we will be solving for x. And since inver the inverse of a function, of the original function, has its inputs and outputs interchange, we will be interchanging x and y. And finally, we'll be putting the notation for an inverse instead of y, and we'll be done. The fifth step, verify if necessary, we will do in part two of this screencast. Um, what we're going to be doing differently in this screencast is we're going to be asking you to work on your own example as we, as we do an example. So our example is going to be this one that you see right here. We're going to be finding the inverse of f of x equals x cubed minus 2. What I want you to do right now is write this example, this equation, right on a piece of paper and have that ready because as, we, as I start showing you how to find the inverse, you're going to be doing it for this problem while I'm do working on uh, my own problem. So write that down, f of x equals x squared plus 3. And if you need to, you could pause the screencast as you write it down. And once you're ready, let's see how the steps work. So step one is what we're going to do first is we're going to write, we're going to change that f of x, we're just going to put a y instead. And uh, if you remember, step one was to first verify that it's one-to-one. -one. We're going to assume it's one-to-one. -one, but uh, what you should be doing is graphing the function and using the horizontal line test to see that if it passes. If you use the horizontal line test and it is a one-to-one -one function, then you know you can find an inverse. So we're assuming that's true. And let's move on. So now we want to solve for x. So the first thing to do is you want to get x, uh, x alone on the right side. So I will add 2 in our example to both sides. And negative 2 and positive 2 is 0. And we're left with x cubed on the right. And we're left with y plus 2 on the left. Let's move this up a little bit. And now you have to think about how do you get x alone when you have an x cubed. Many of you will realize if you have an x cubed, if you find the cube root of x cubed, that will give you an x. But naturally, since this is an equation, you must do the same thing to both sides of the equation to keep it balanced. So we'll put y plus 2 over here. And the cube root of x cubed is x, which was our goal. And on the other side, we have the cube root of y plus 2. So that's our first step, which is to solve for x. In your example, you will be doing the same thing. I'm going to be asking you to do it in one second. Um, just keep in mind that in your example, you don't have an x cubed. You have an x squared. So you'll be, you won't be finding the cube root of, uh, uh, instead, you'll be finding uh, a different kind of root. So. You have this example written down on your piece of paper. I want you to pause this screencast right now. I want you to solve for x using the very same steps that I just used. If, you're not, if you don't remember them, just replay the screencast up to this point. And when you're ready and you've already solved for x, come back and, and press play and we'll continue. Welcome back. Um, so theoretically, you have now solved for x in your example. Let's come back to our problem, and let's continue on. So the first step, uh, our second step was to solve for x. Now we're going to move along, so we're going to do this on the right side of the board. Our very next step, if you remember, is to interchange x and y. So I'm going to do that. <coughs> Excuse me. So on the left side, I have the cube root, but this time I'm putting x on the left side and y is going to go on the right side. So that was our next step. <clears throat> so why don't you pause the screencast again, go to your example, 
and interchange X and Y. And when you're ready and you've done it, press play again, and we'll continue from this point on. Okay, welcome back. And our next step is, is very simple. We're simply going to replace Y with our notation for an inverse. So on the left side, we have the cube root of X plus 2. And on the right side, we're going to replace our Y with our notation for the inverse. And this should be our answer. The inverse should be the cube root of x plus 2. And that is the inverse of our original function, x cubed minus 2. You might notice that that makes sense because, because the uh, plus 2 undoes the minus 2 in the original function, which is here. And a cube root will undo a cube, which is right there. So that's our answer. You should now complete your problem. And when you're done, uh, we will uh, check it out in class tomorrow. And hopefully you've got the right answer. And if you need to, just replay this whole screencast.